Hey guys, it's Mike, CN Sun Travel Agency. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend as well this week. Every Friday moving forward, we're gonna start new videos. And we're gonna start a segment called Five Things to Consider. This week, we're gonna start with all-inclusive travel. But we're also gonna do destination weddings, honeymoons, ocean cruising, river cruising, domestic travel. We'd also like to ask you guys to add comments for topics you'd like us to discuss. Put those comments in this video and we'll make sure to add them to our list to cover in the future. With that, let's get started with number one for five things to consider for all-inclusive travel. Number one is your goal. What is your goal for this vacation? Is it rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, or you wanna have fun, upbeat, adventurous travel? Are you doing something romantic as a romantic getaway with that special someone? Or are you doing family friendly? You doing a family reunion, group travel with friends. This is all gonna impact the next four parts of this list. Number two is based on your goal. Are you looking for adults only or family friendly resort or something in between? Perfect example of the in between would be Ryu Palace Bavaro in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. They have, it's a family friendly resort, but they have a section within the resort that is adults only. They have a block of rooms available that are just for adults. And they also have a swim up bar and pool available just for adults. And then they also have the rest of the resort. You can still use all the restaurants and all the rest of the amenities of the resort, but you still have a private little resort within a resort that's available to you. So that's number two. Number three is distance from the airport and your activities. If you want to be 10 minutes, 15 minutes away and be able to kick off your vacation, ready to go and be in that pool as quickly as possible or at the beach hanging out, or do you want to go somewhere a little more exclusive that might take a little more time to get to or somewhere you've never been? Perfect example of this would be a 90 minute drive from Montego Bay to Negril in Jamaica. You can be at a Montego Bay resort within 10 to 15 minutes from leaving the airport, but if you go to Negril, it's about a 90 minute drive. This is also a consideration when you're leaving at the end of your trip. If you have an early morning uh, flight out, you might have to leave really, really early in the morning. So those are things to consider as well as far as if you're only able to get early flights out, maybe you wanna be closer. Another thing is, is we always like afternoon flights just because we have more time at the resort. And if I have a 15, 20 minute ride to the airport, well, maybe I don't have to leave for a four o'clock flight until 1.30 or two, instead of having to leave at maybe noon because I'm 90 minutes, two hours away. So that's number three. Number four is resort amenities. What type of amenities are you looking for to resort? Are you looking for uh, a huge amount of restaurants? Do you want those restaurants to be reservation free or do you care if they have required reservations? Are you looking for specific room amenities, safes, ironing boards, maybe a specific product that's offered in the bathroom, or a hot tub on the balcony. Those are all things to consider, as well as the, I said, number of restaurants, but also the number of daily activities, nightly activities. Uh, is there a kids club, teen club, water park? If you're looking for family friendly, what type of non-motorized sports are also included? And if you're looking for rest and relaxation or rejuvenation, maybe you want a spa <clears throat> that's available as well. So those are all things to consider when you're looking at the resort itself. And of course, the layout of the resort is also important for a lot of people. Do you want to be a 10 to 15 minute walk away in one of these huge expansive resorts where it's lush, and beautiful and tropical, but you have to take a golf cart from one end of the property to the other, or do you want something that's a more traditional hotel, like a tower where there's multiple floors, but it's close together to other resorts. Perfect example of this would be the hotel zone in Cancun. There are a ton of resorts all next to each other that a lot of them have huge towers but, and they're close together with smaller beaches, but they're still wonderful resorts. Or you can look at Riviera Maya, which has more spread out resorts, where it might take you from the entrance of the resort or lobby all the way to the beach, 10 minutes to walk. So that's also important to consider. Also, if you have mobility issues, maybe you want that closer together resort. And you don't want to have to worry about having to walk long distances to go from your hotel room to the pool or to the beach or to a restaurant. So those are all hugely important. And finally, this all leads us to the biggest one. And that's number five, your budget. What can you spend for your trip? Can you do 3,000, 5,000, 10,000? Those are all questions that only you can answer, but it will have a huge impact in what you're able to do and where you're able to go. 
The best part of working with us as travel advisors is we package everything together for you. Not only can you put down a deposit and make payments along the way, unless you're really close to vacation time, but we can also put it, everything together with transportation to and from the airport to the hotel, your airfare, travel insurance, and of course your resort, all packages one. The other thing we can do for you sometimes based on the resort you choose or the supplier we use is VIP amenities. We can add some extra savings. We might be able to get you some resort coupons or a free dinner on the beach or a free spa treatment. Just depends on where you're booking and what you're looking for, but sometimes we can add that extra little bit that makes you really have a great vacation. And finally on that, we know how to get the best bang for your buck. We know the resorts. We know which ones have the amenities you're looking for after we talk to you in our consultation, and we'll be able to best guide you to what resort we feel your money will go the farthest at. So with that, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, please share it, please put a comment in there. Again, guys, we would really love to have some topics from you so we can add that to the list. And also, uh, if you're ready to book your travel and let us take the stress off of your shoulders, give us a call, 866-509-0222, or shoot us an email at info at cnsuntravelagency.com, or also jump on our website and you can book a consultation online. We hope to hear from you guys, and I hope, again, you guys have a wonderful Friday, and you have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.